let me, on behalf of the Ministry of Power, welcome you to our humble office. Uh, like you rightly mentioned, His Excellency uh, Professor Ben Ayade, the Digital Governor of Prosperous State, has invested a lot in the power subsector. Before I go into the immediate, you know that presently the 23 megawatts power station, the Ayade power plant along parliamentary is functional. And I want perseverance to know that it has been functional for quite some time now. The street lights you see in Calabar is coming not from the national grid, not from anywhere, but from that power plant. So that is on and running now. You are aware too that uh, the Adiabo power plant, the one by 26, is almost 90% uh, completed. All we are waiting for to power and evacuate power is the gas pipeline, which is under construction already. And uh, we target that by for the end of December this year, we will have added another 26 megawatts of electricity into Calabar and its environment, which will make power very, very constant in the town. Aside that, if you are resident in Calabar municipality, and in recent days, Calabar South, you will know that the street lights are working functionally. All those areas that before now were not captured are being rehabilitated and the street lights have started working. That is part of the effort of uh, His Excellency too. So a lot is being done in the area of uh, power generation, in the area of uh, providing infrastructure transformers. Uh, we have an agency, State Electrical Agency, as you know, recently has distributed some transformers and uh, we are in the process of distributing more and intervening. As we speak, the Akim community that have been for, for like almost five years without electricity, uh, Excellency has graciously approved and we are installing transformers and other infrastructure to return light to them. So overall, uh, His Excellency has shown enough uh, effort in uh, bringing light and power to cross river areas because he is aware that all these industries he is doing and building, if there is no constant power supply, then uh, the effort will be an effort in futility. So the power is key, and I think uh, the Minister of Power under this administration is getting the desired attention. The, the Tinapa community is known as Adia Bobo. So uh, officially, the name of that power plant is uh, Adia Bobo, though it's uh, inside Tinapa. Tinapa seems to be a more uh, known name, but uh, the actual name for that uh, power plant is Adia Bobo Power Plant. It is what I've just told you that, uh, yes, we are working on it. Work is on an advanced stage. Uh, the installation of all the equipment, the lines, and everything is in place. But you know it's going to require gas. It's not diesel. So it's going to be cheaper and easy to run than diesel. Diesel is more expensive. That's why I said we have just completed a concluded arrangement with uh, the gas suppliers who have a power line, you know, Savannah Energy. And they have granted us, we have signed an MOU, and construction one has commenced to tap gas into the power plant, which is the major and main uh, aspect of the job that is, is that I was waiting, and uh, that has commenced. So, like I said, we are giving ourselves a period of, uh, say, four months to start getting ready to commission that. Earlier on, I mentioned what we are doing. I forgot to mention that, uh, well, I don't know if we've gone to Budu. There's been an existing power plant. Ogoja power, power plant is, so is functional now, has been completed, test run, and power has been evacuated to the residents of Ogoja. Uh, 
we must admit that it has not been easy to run it on a regular basis because of the diesel need. And this is where we will solicit that the inhabitants of these communities should be willing to part with some resources or pay the bills to enable us uh, be able to augment in the diesel supply because uh, diesel is expensive. Uh, the problem you will hear is that uh, maybe we are not intervening a lot. But remember that these power plants are not supposed to give 24 hours power supply. We are meant to supply or intervene when the public power supply is not there. So, for instance, if there's no PhD light and all of that, or there's a major aspect or activity going on, we give light so that uh, at least the uh, area where you could say you have stayed for one week, two weeks without uh, power supply will not be there. So all of those little, little but steady progress is being made in a power subsector. Uh, I will, since I'm mentioning power plants we have built, we should know that we have a two megawatts to our to gap, which was completed. Eventually, because it's a bit removed from here, uh, the council has asked that we give them the permission to run it. And the governor graciously approved that uh, the local government should run it because it was being vandalized, because it is easy to monitor and to service it. So we have done that, and uh, we have plans to do that for the other local, for the other local governments too, so that uh, it will be easier and the people will see the benefit outrightly. We won't just limit ourselves when we talk about tourism and uh, the Obudu Ranch Resort to power. Overall, there has been tremendous work. I talk because I'm a member of uh, the Sector Executive Council, and I happen to be coming from that area. I'm always there. Generally, the government, this government of uh, Senator Ben Ayade has worked and improved on the potentials of uh, the ranch resort. The cable car, like you said, is now functioning. They had no problem apart from power supply, and uh, that has been arrested. Beyond what you have seen, effort is being made to, to put a hybrid wind, hybrid technology has been introduced, two megawatts of wind turbine. It's already under construction so that it will become a permanent source of power for the ranch resort. And uh, increasingly, the resort is returning to its former glory. We are aware that it is difficult for government to run it alone. As a ministry, we are working on the evacuation corridor. Evacua the evacuation will require some resuscitation of infrastructure. Presently, the infrastructure we are using are that of PHED. That is the lines, the transformers in certain areas, and all of that. So we are working. But for the ones Cross River State is uh, uh, constructing, we have what we call O&M. That process is on. One M means that we have to engage an organization very competent that uh, operate and maintain those infrastructures. Uh, we have an ESCO approval to engage major players in the industry who will undertake and enter into a contract with the state government to manage those uh, infrastructure, particularly the 23 megawatts at the parliamentary and they are there, but the 26, one by 26 power plant at uh, Tinapa. The process is on, like I said. Uh, people have indicated interest. We are shortlisting in the process of shortlisting, and uh, at the appropriate time, they will enter into an agreement with uh, the state government to run those facilities for us.